so we have been talking about trend line strategy this one of the most effective ways to trade price actually risking just a little portion of account and you'll be able to catch very big moves like this as you can see when price hit the trend like once twice and come back you have the possibility of shorting so in this situation i know i've made videos and my people especially all you people who trade just volatility indices have been asking me if you can use this strategy to trade boom and crash and volatility indices guys it works for all markets so i'll be sharing with you basically uh, how you can use it in trading volatility indices crash and boom whether you're trading forex market vix 75 whatever you are trading you want to watch this video to the end to catch to learn how to catch very powerful moves like this when you are trading uh the, the, the financial markets okay traders welcome to my channel i am full team sleep by the grace of god i bring to you guys strategies tutorials on the forex market volatility indices metals like gold nasdaq vix 75 many other instruments you want to subscribe to the channel by hitting on the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss out so you can see how powerful the trend line strategy is price rejects in the trend line multiple times meaning you can cash one two three four setups just in one single move and you're able to make huge profits from it so make sure that you watch this video to the end so that you learn uh how to tr uh, draw trend line properly avoid mistakes and how to make money trading using this strategy so all right so basically as we have been explaining trend line is simply a way of diagonal resistance and support right so if you see a market that is a trending market let's say price is in an uptrend it creates higher highs and higher lows right this is an uptrending market price will always pull back to a zone which will be considered to be a support zone right because this zone here will be you know uh, uh known to be support right and with the use of a trend line you can connect a zone like this and once price rejects in the zone more than twice right like once twice there's a high probability that as price comes back the third time price is going to respect this zone so this could be a strategy on its own where you wait for price to come back you take your buy trade and then your stop loss are below here and then you want to be targeting those highs there right so it could be something of this nature right you could be waiting for price to come and then you'll be riding this trend as long as it moves you can get a very good risk to reward ratio like one is to three one is to four one is to five just by drawing a simple trend line and the same situation applies in a downtrending market where you see price creating lower lows okay now you realize that price will be coming all right it comes and you know it gets rejected in the zone it gets rejected in a trend line it drops it comes to get rejected so you wait for price to come back the third time you enter your trade and then you want to be targeting just as simple as that so it doesn't need to get complicated but the only issue is many people do not draw trend lines the right way so they misjudge some zones and they you know as breakouts whereas they are not breakouts because they did not draw because they do not draw the trend line properly so basically what we do is to do a trend line you simply connect all right you look at an obvious market structure like this where we have higher highs and higher lows right so what you simply do is you connect from the low right you cross through the weeks so you connect from this low you just pick the low and then you draw from these peaks okay you make sure that you put there and then you drag your extend right when you simply extend what you do is you are waiting for price to come and then hit the zone okay so you just extend like that because price is going to likely reject in this zone many times now you draw when price maybe has just hit like twice okay like one twice right now what you are doing is you're waiting for price now to come back and hit the third time so once it rejects once and twice you are taking your trade here and then your stop loss below and then you want to be targeting this highs now you see that price comes back and get rejected that's a good trading setup so you enter your stop loss below sometimes you should be targeting what this previous high here all right this is a previous high that you could be targeting right you wait for price to come back again reject right price to come again and reject the zone what you do is you simply take your buy trade so you take your buy trade like that your stop loss is below okay you want to target this first high right okay it could be targeting the second high so your first target should be here your second target should be somewhere all right and what happened look at how price move powerfully guys and what happened you wait for price again to come back and test the zone right when price come back and test the zone again you still enter so you can ride this trend until it get broken right that is how simple you can trade this particular patterns right so um i'm going to share another example that's volatility uh i think that's volatility uh, jump 50 i think right
okay so if you look at jump 50 we had a very good zone here that finally got broken okay if you look at it very well you are going to realize that price was actually creating very good higher highs and then higher highs higher highs right so you can see here we use the same concept you just connect this stuff you connect with the next stuff you wait for price to come back from the third touch you enter guys look at just by having this simple knowledge you are able to catch most like this price goes comes again and hit you see enter again you target these zones look at that guys look at powerful until when price finally broke out even if you entered i didn't hit your target maybe came and hit your stop loss then imagine just winning this this with very high risk to a ratio this will be a very little stop loss and at the end of the day you still be profitable guys that's how simple it is to trade uh trend lines guys it's very simple you just use simple strategy and then you are good to go right so that is just how simple it is so it applies to any market guys it's not just about forex or whatever so you can use it now we have a situation here look at uh, a jump here we have a, a situation of jump uh, uh, uh that's boom and crash so we did the same connect first second see that price come from the third it get rejected and and then look at how if you just enter there we are stop loss above there look at how price drop it came again got rejected you enter and then you maybe you want to be targeting this previous lows here right what happened price just moved down and dropped until when price finally broke out of the trend line and then you now start to look i you know look for adjustments okay because price will probably move in so it's just as simple as that guys so trend line applies to all market conditions but always ensure that uh, you make sure that you draw them well where you're drawing ensure that you don't skip the weeks all right you don't skip you make sure that you follow the order so that at the end of the day you don't uh, 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 get into trouble or maybe you don't consider something to be a breakout whereas it was not a breakout so i've also made videos and i've explained on how to avoid trendline mistakes so you might want to check that video so whenever i'm making a video in this channel know that it applies to all market because price action works for all market so if you connect this low connect this low look at that guys make sure that the first and the second zones get the touch all right and then make sure that you don't skip so or maybe you start drawing a trend line and then you skip this one you go and take the name no you make sure that you get the touch or maybe you draw and you don't touch no don't don't do that make sure that you get the touches all right so that when you get the touch you just connect up so that's it guys thank you for watching i hope you found the video helpful please subscribe to the channel by hitting on the subscribe button and the notification bell to see more content like this and make sure that you join our telegram channel the link in the video's description below so that each time i post a new video you'll be the first to get a notification see you in the next video